democracy. How did you physically do that in this case? Uh, we would uh, write to third parties, such as um, banks and solicitors, to verify bank accounts. We would uh, sample test the expenses and income areas against uh, records of the organisation, such as uh, member records, transactions that go into the bank account, um, invoices and various uh, other authorisations. Did you contact previous auditors? Yes, we did. And, um, well, in fact, you deal with that in 14 of your statement. Um, you asked if there were any outstanding matters and you didn't receive any response. That's correct. In paragraph 31 and following, you deal with um, selecting a sample for example, there you're dealing with donations. Can you just talk me through that process? How did that work? This is in relation to what you describe as testing. Uh, sorry, paragraph 31, did you say? Yes. Yeah. So, in, um, uh, there are some items in under the uh, Fair Work Act that require specific categorisation. And the one I mentioned is donations, but the other one is um, the salaries of the officials. So under those categories, we would actually specifically look to make sure that the um, category given to uh, to them were correct. Um, and generally speaking, we would allocate items according to the category of expense, not the uh, who was paid to. So for example, um, if there was a payment to Telstra, it would go under telephone, not under Telstra. Um, now, you say in 34, 